you what's going on youtube it's your boy ease back in effect live without the bs here chilling with my boys got my boy uh sitting over here chilling on this log over here looking around yeah don't worry about it man nobody's coming nobody's coming it's all good man you know i got your back you know i got it all right here with another update on the uh double swing uh crossover build man going good going strong peoples going good going strong finally got some good gear farming like a mug yes i'm farming without doing maps i only did three maps let me show y'all see look i did no maps i did two maps so far and now i've been able to find this weapon here which I love so far so good give me the onslaught which is great I think there's a, a node on the tree that can help me out on the onslaught that would give me more I was able to find this little trinket here this little amulet it gives me a little debuff expires 100% faster God, I love that because I'm always getting stunned somewhere in, in the middle out of fucking nowhere. Excuse the language, but you know me. I don't got time for the BS. And then I was able to find this axe just the other day. I love finding these little white pieces. I had to... I found it. I scoured it. I found the white sockets. I scoured it down to the basics. And then I essence it. Then I scoured. Then I essence. And I scoured. I had to do this a couple of times just to get these stats, just to get these rolls. And then I finally um, quality it up all the way up to 20. But that's how you that's how you craft. I don't like doing maps because it's too much to do in maps. In maps, oh my god. Someone wants to buy something from me? Yo. Yo, somebody wants to buy something from me. Check it out. Check it out. I'm selling this up. Close to max stats. You see what I'm selling? Minion um, jewelry here. You see the stats? It's almost max. Tier 2, Tier 1, Tier 5, Tier 5. It's, it's alright. I can, I'm only selling it for five jewelers orbs. What not five? Yeah, jewelers orbs. And bam, give me. I'll take that. Bye bye. Whoop. And that's how you sell on the console. Oh no 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 no! I'm not giving you that. That's mine. Bam. I needed some of those because I don't have any. And that's how you sell on console. No, let me get into a little bit of the trade here. If you saw in my last video, trading on console is different from trading on um, PC. PC and console now can trade with each other. You will always know if you're getting a trade from a console player and if you're getting a trade from a, um, a PC player. A PC player won't wait. Because due to the fact that they had to go to their hideout, put their trade in, add a whisper, because they got to whisper the person, they got to type in, hey, would you buy this from me? Would you buy this from me? We and council have a way better system. We don't have to wait as much as they do. See, what we can do is we can search for it by typing in the exact name of the item that we want. You can go to the poe trade site or you can go to any of the poe sites to any of those computer people um sorry the computer players like to use and we can look up the what the items we want to use for our builds type it in and it will show up in our system pick the category that you want like right now i'm looking for let's say a ring now you go to the rings you select your base of the ring you're looking for a base it only shows you bases you pick the base that you're looking for 
like uh that's not a good one to pick from because there's not a lot of people selling that ring uh let's try another ring what's a popular ring amethyst you'll get all that version of the base is all categorized in one just like the poe trade site everything is categorized under that base another thing we can do when you're also looking up things for your build on top of just putting in keywords and looking up your items pc players when they go to the trade website they can put in the exact wording of what they want to find on their gear like if you're looking for an amethyst ring that has chaos resistance and you want a um, an amethyst ring that has strength that has chaos resistance and it has max energy shield if you're only looking for that kind of ring on the website you can just type in what that those um those metrics and it will just bring up only those rings only that have those metrics in it um, on pc they, of course they have it easier because they got multiple screens but they can go to their pc and type in you know i want fire i want cold i want lightning on my whatever we can do that too but not in game we have to go to the website and do it just like they do but we have a shortcut to the website you just go to your menu at the press the start button you go to trade website you can press X and it will send you straight to POE's trade website then you can type in everything you need to put into your ring or whatever and then it will all show up on the list of which one that you want now just to let console players know if you do decide to go through the trade website to buy something that's when you're stepping into danger territory listen to me again you're stepping into danger territory because that's when you're stepping into the pc's area that's when the waiting game happens longer because if you try to trade or buy something off their website there's a button on there that's called whispers and if you click that button to try to buy from somebody it doesn't tell you on their website that that person is online or offline but for us on council we automatically know who's online and who's not online compared to PC where they have to guess who's online and who's not online we have an advantage to buy than they do they have the waiting game we don't have a waiting game so let's say if I want to buy this ring for 8 chaos which is way too high for this ring way too high I mean a PC player might think okay that's a good price but personally that's too high but if I want to buy it you will press the buy button and it will go to send offer now we a PC don't have this version we have this version now what happens is if you make an offer and you place it in here we can submit the offer to the person which they're not going to sell it submit the offer to the person and then we walk away once we walk away we can go do our missions and everything we don't have to hang out in our hideout and say oh my god is he going to buy it i gotta waste time you know i can't leave my hideout oh i can't wait see oh see like i said people are online right now of course he was not going to accept it which is totally understandable totally understandable I'm trying to give an example buddy but thank you for helping me on my example um, but as soon as you send something into for that person we can walk away and never have to worry about that person now the downside to trade overall is the fact that everything is way overpriced way overpriced like 
let's see. Um, let's give an example. Do, do, do. These are the things that I'm selling. As you can see, uh, as you saw, I sold one item for four um, jeweler's orbs. I sell everything from five chaos orbs or less, or I sell it for random um, material, cheap material. I always do that because I don't see the fact of why I shall make everyone else struggle to play the game. PC players will tell you, yes, you should struggle because I did. I played a hundred and something maps to get this one item. And since I played a hundred maps, you should too. And that's how it not that's how it should not be. If you did a hundred maps, that's your fault. <laughs> that's not my fault if you found an item that you're not using let me repeat that again if you found an item that you are not using why sell it to people who need that item and it can't afford it just like in real life if you see someone in need do you say oh man you need it oh wow this man over here this little kid is super hungry you know what I'm gonna buy you a hamburger but you gonna give me $30 for that hamburger and that's how this game is let's see if I can find something really really I don't know what's good out there that's expensive because I try to stay away um anything two-handed usually expensive because people um roll with two-handed weapons see 20 chaos yeah you're probably saying 20 chaos for a one socket gem or whatever is one socket blah 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 but see something like this they're selling for 20 chaos right but they're not using it if i had this I would sell it to you for six chaos, maybe five. Cause you know why? I'm not using it. It's just wasting space in my inventory. This is the reason why people are hoarders and have a problem. If you're not using it, why keep it? Give it to someone that can enjoy the game with you and have it as well. Here's another example. 30 chaos? Really? For a magic item? Really? This item here is worth one chaos. Now people might say, no it's not. This is actually worth 30 because of the base or whatever, blah blah blah. This is not worth 30 chaos. This is worth two. Two. Do you see what I'm saying? This is in your inventory, wasting space. This guy's selling it for 30 all because it has six slots. Not because of the stats. He's selling it because of six slots. Those stats suck. They're not that good to me. They might be good to somebody. I understand that. If I had this, I'll look at the stats and go, you know what? Yeah, 42% to armor and energy shield. Yeah, somebody actually can use that. And yeah, somebody can use the six slots. And look, they're all connected. I'm like, man, someone can really use that, but not me. I'm still not going to sell it for 30 chaos, though. I'm going to sell it for like five or two. Again, I'd rather have somebody else have fun along with me. So they can build up their character along with me. Why deny them? This is a trait that PC started and it's it and it's, it won't stop. It, it just won't stop. I wish there was a way to make a community day on POE where everybody can just put their money together into a pool where everybody can can share in the fun you know of item buying so everybody can have a good item 
or a few good items, but it's not possible. We got too many greedy motherfuckers in this game. Way too many greedy ones. I I just recently went on to a couple of YouTubers who are long timers in this game. There are a couple of good ones, like Taki and a couple other ones. Uh, subtract them. I asked them um, if I had uh, a couple of good items, like really good items, and decide to sell you those items for one chaos what would you do both of them got mad at me and said no no you won't and I'm like why why won't you buy it if it's cheaper and they said it's because it's a waste of my time how is it a waste of your time for getting the sale so that means every sale that's out there in the world, you are not going to that sale. You'd rather pay full price because going to a sale is a waste of your time. That's how POE people, that's how long-term POE fans think about this game. Go, a sale is a waste of their time. Weird, huh? But that's the mentality that, that's that's a lot of these players have a sale is a waste of their time so it, it's weird I, I don't get it I wish some other people can explain it to me because I, I just don't I don't I don't know I really don't know I mean I went on there live and try to actually talk to these guys but they're all saying the same they both said the same thing it's pretty much if it's a sale they won't go for it because they said stopping what they're doing and going for a sale is not worth it which I understand stopping for what you're doing because in PC version you gotta stop what you're doing to go to the um, the hideout and wait for the other person to go to the hideout I understand that part can be annoying but if it's an item that you want and it's on sale wouldn't you just go stop what you're doing and say man this dude got a, a mage blood this dude got a something that's like way out there the best item in the game the most rarest item in the game and he only wants to sell it for 10 chaos trust me I'm gonna stop what I'm doing to go get the best item in the game for 10 chaos I don't give a fuck if I'm on the last boss of the game I'm gonna go back and get that item so I can come back to the last boss of the game and whip his ass but for some reason these long term guys will tell you no it's best to skip the sale and just go and wait for the higher price and come and just buy the higher price one so if, if I'm right about that okay it's the PC people need to stay away from us, us council and 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 if, if that's not the case I mean, y'all need to figure it out then man y'all need to be more clear on how trade works on your end PC on your end okay. here's a good example on um, price marketing 20 chaos for only 30 silver coins that's 1.5 almost a coin what what kind of price is this one divine for 153 Wait, 20? This one's giving you 30 for 15. That's half the price. Do you see what I'm saying? This is what this is really what's what's wrong with the PC community. There needs to be a set price on what things are going. I understand this. Um, trade is ran by 
the community at large. And that's what the problem is. That's why prices are so outrageous. Because it's ran by idiots. You got a bunch of people who don't understand marketing. They just throw out prices and then it sticks because the meta is whatever those YouTubers say. You know what I'm saying? Like whoever those top creators are, make the meta. That's why it's so hard to find great gear because those guys control the market. Every time you look at a build video, it will say, okay, this weapon or this piece of gear is what you need to make this build. People will look at that video and go, okay, I need this piece of gear. Now, that's only you. Remember, there's about two or three other thousand people looking at that build. So those two other three other thousand are looking at that same piece of armor, which is going to drive the price up for that one piece of armor. And they know that. The people who make these builds know that. So they go out and farm that piece of gear so they can go sell it and make money off of you. Do you understand the concept of that? They're controlling the market. Just like a Republican does in real life. They control the Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? It's just the exact same thing. But for some reason, people are like, uh, I'm just going to follow the trap. You know, I'm, I, I can't follow the trap. This doesn't make any sense. Do you see what I'm saying? And then, see what I'm saying? Like, these two are 15. But then, all because he added one more, he wants to add three more chaos for one. So, it's three chaos for one? See, 28 of them? For 60? See, there needs to be a consistency. But there is no consistency. And that's what the problem is with you PC players. You guys don't have any consistency. You never go to a Walmart or any other store, um, 7-Eleven, where every single soda in the store is a different price. Every single water that you buy is a different price even though it's the same amount of ounces of water in that bottle it's a different price but for some reason y'all want to make it a different price no matter how much amount of water is in that bottle y'all want to put a different price on it it doesn't make any sense i'd rather i rather have um ggg set the prices so i can just know exactly how much i need to go and buy the item Having you set the price makes it harder for the rest of the community to get anything. And that's why trade is horrible. Trade has always been horrible. If I'm going to trade, I want to trade from me to you personally, one-on-one. -on -one. Not no trade site, not no trade marketing. I want to walk over to you and be like, yo, I give you 10 for 10. And you can be like, all right, cool. And that's it. Me, you, one-on-one, -on -one, let's communicate. Not this trade site thing, because the trade site, you can just name prices and it would just sit there in your inventory, taking up space, and you bitching like, oh my God, I got so, I got no inventory space because you, have, you don't want to sell shit, you motherfucker. Sell your shit and you will have space. But you don't want to sell it because you want to overprice the motherfucker. That is your fault. If you want space, sell it for cheaper. The end. How easy is that? You want space, sell your shit. You can't sell it if it's too expensive for anybody else to buy it. I mean, is it is it too common sense to understand common sense? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too old and above y'all heads to understand this shit. I don't know. Alright everybody, this is my hideout. I really don't like coming here. It's really a dreadful place to tell you the truth. Losing your soul is something I don't like doing. As you can see, I only done two maps. I really don't want to do any more. 
but I promise that I will do it because uh, I I just said I would. All right, this is my the map. These are the souls that came before me. Like I said, lost souls, man. These are other players. Ooh, I had to cover the dead bodies. It was so many of them. I had to cover them up. But these are the souls that I've lost. These are parts of my soul that I've lost throughout the years that I've been playing. As you can see, the odor is just getting worse and worse. But I, I just... I stopped doing maps because of this, as you can see. Hell, my last soul is still stuck up there. Look. The last soul I had is still stuck on the cross. Tied to it. And the soul that I very first started, my very first game, look at it, is rotting away. That was my very first soul. Part of my soul. I think that was my heart, this game tried to take. I think that was my heart. But, no. It took me a while to get it back. I had to do some, you know, resuscitation. I had to get some help on that. I think my girlfriend at the time, you know, brought me back to life and got me off this game to play something else. I think she got me playing God of War more to get me away from this damn game at the time. But, uh, yeah. There were more dead bodies, but they were back there. But, um, I had to clean them up. But these are the last souls that I had. The smell is getting intense. Look how big this smell. Wow. The fog. Anyway, I hope this is some good tips for the console community. You guys, we don't get a lot of tips for us when it comes to Xbox and PlayStation. The PC community give out tips for quote unquote for beginners, but I they played they play only for PC, so they, they have no tips for, for console. Their button setups don't match ours. When they give out tips for builds, their build setup don't match ours because our, our controllers don't do what they do. They'll say, well, bind, combine your um, right click to this and you'll be able to do your um, trap builds better. We can't bind buttons for trap builds. So a trap build doesn't work on a console. You'll be doing multiple buttons. You'll be doing this button, this button, this button, this button to do a trap build. It's multiple buttons. With the other, with a console, you can have it all on your right click and then you're good to go. But on console, we don't have that right click feature. So on some of those builds, just be aware console players that you can't play due to the fact that we can't change our buttons that way okay so just be aware of that just be wary of that and if you try to ask one of those top-notch content creators they can't explain to you because they never played on a console and the ones that I have had talked to they automatically assumed that the console version is just filled with bugs and just inferior period even though it's the exact same game the exact same bugs the exact same fixes fixes they just put down the console version under their feet period that's all they do and it's sad that they do that but it's just it's a mentality thing they they were they started there and they can't move from that section you know they they stay there and they can't mentally branch out to any other system whatever it happens it happens you know kids will be kids nothing you can do about it nothing you can do about it but anyway it's your boy ease live in effect without the bs and i'm here to give every console player a chance to play poe and there's a lot of us there are thousands of us playing this game but the PC community thinks there's only 10 of us okay so don't let that be uh, uh, don't let that get into your head I just showed you the list of how many things are for sale there's plenty of us that want to play this game there's plenty of us got things on for sale it's just if you're trying to buy something on that list do like me and forget about them if you're trying to sell something you can try to oversell stuff because that's what the computer, the PC community 
loves to buy things really high and they, they don't sell low you know like I said the PC community is very Republican with their shit and they really want to sell you a really use a really nice used car for expensive for really expensive price they want to sell you a, a broken down come a broken broken down Chevy but sell it to you for a Lamborghini price so watch yourself when it comes to dealing with them also on trade if you're trying to get stuff off the trade site which is like I said is very dangerous going to that trade site there is you can get scammed on that trade site trying to deal with people on there you can't get scammed on our version of trade because it's already set in stone of what you're going to get it's locked into place on the PC side is not locked into place you'll see the item you'll press the whisper he'll say yes and as soon as he wants to trade with you he'll switch the item into another it'll be the same item but a different version so you need to check the stats before you buy it's a really big number on PC of people getting scammed really large number of scammers on PC but again PC people assume that everyone on consoles are just cheaters but there are more ski cheaters on PC than there are on on console but again that's that mindset they have that you gotta be aware of when you're dealing with these people okay just great people just a little off kilter when it comes to certain situations all right i hope there's some good tips for all of my console players pc2 hope you guys understand how trade over here works because you need to know that you are trading with us and we're trading with you you need to know that the trade mentality from the pc community is dumb sorry somebody gotta tell y'all the truth and if it's gotta be a, a a console player who is also a pc player don't get it twisted I, I got I got a computer I just don't like playing games on my computer I'm used to my thumbs because I've been playing video games since the very first system anyone here heard of a magna box back in 71 but that's just me but that's either here or there here or there I'm just saying kids will be kids there's nothing you can do about it most of the time. Keyword, most of the time. All right, y'all. My next video, I'm going uh, to tackle this map and hopefully whew, I don't lose myself in it. Well, unlike everybody else, I can't sit here and do 100 maps straight. I don't care if it's 30 seconds of a map. That just sounds boring as fuck. I don't care how many items drop in that bitch. I am not doing 100, 200 maps in a row. Don't care. That is boring. If you find that entertaining, go for it. I do not find that entertaining. I need more variety. And there's not a lot of variety to me. Yes, there might be 100 and something different maps. But um, that's 100 and something different levels that I don't feel like doing. I'd rather have a storyline to those maps and there's no story to those maps there's no lore to those maps the only lore is when Maven shows up and she's only shows up every once in a while you know the bosses only show up when they feel like it it's random when they decide to look at you and want to fight you and since they're not constant and, and like always there I don't want to I don't want to hear about it so I don't care I'd rather I'd rather hear a storyline besides just run into a map, kill things, and run out the map. But that's just me. 20 maps probably gonna take me about an hour, two hours. That's just me. You know, when people say efficient, you know what's efficient to me? Not playing this game very long. <laughs> playing this game for more than 10 hours in a row. That's not efficient. I'd rather use nine of those hours going outside and making some real money. That's more efficient.
and use it one hour on this game. You know, life outside the game sounds more important to me. I'm here for the council community and since there is no one on the council um, representing the POE community, um, well, I guess I'll be the only one. Until next time, peace.